I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Hivium here, welcome back to another player review, and you may have been able to tell by the thumbnail and the title, I'm not quite sure what I've named it, but this is going to be one of those reviews that is quite strictly like super sub based, like I didn't start this guy once, he has not had one single start in his, uh, his TVM club career. So we've got uh, 22 games played, or 22 sub-appearances, 16 goals and 6 assists. I've actually played one game more than that as well, and he got a goal and assist off the bench. Now, some games, obviously, uh, he's been subbed in a lot earlier than others. Sometimes in Champs, for example, uh, he was subbed in right at the end for a couple of uh, minutes, You know, when either when you need a, a, a fresh pair of legs to run at the defence, or when I needed a goal, because as you could tell by the in-game stats, or at least as they would suggest, you can get an awful lot out of this card, and he does fit the way that most people play. He's kind of flown under the radar a little bit of most people, because I've not once come up against him, whether it be in a starting 11 in Rivals, in Champs, or off the bench. Not one single person I've played has used him, and I've played... I wouldn't even, I don't know, maybe 60 games since that he was released, which is just crazy when you think about it. But yeah, uh, maybe even more than that, actually thinking about it. Uh, anyway, uh, 98 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 99 agility and balance, 94 ball control, 90 dribbling, 91 composure. He's five foot eight, high attacking work rate, medium defensive, four star, four star with, by the way, it's been a little while since I found someone with this, but a lean body type, which obviously means he's going to feel super, super agile in game. Now, Straight away, before we actually get into any clips and, and talking about whether this card is actually any good or not, I, I will say, and it's a bit of a weird one, he didn't actually feel as quick and as agile as I thought he would do. And I put a, a maestro chem style on him. Uh, part of the reason for that was to top up the dribbling, the ball control, and the reactions. We get a nice refined passing um, element in there as well. 99 short passing, 96 vision. And then his positioning, shot power, and long shot all get boosted to 99 or 97, which is fantastic. On paper, that is a 97 rated winger. That is insane. Now, for me to say that he didn't feel as agile as I thought he was going to, that doesn't mean he didn't feel agile, because obviously he did. But this on paper, it has to be the most quote-unquote meta, or at least stats that fit the meta, uh, that you can possibly get. Because you've got 99 balance and agility, 98 acceleration, 5 foot 8 lean body type. You, you quite literally can't get better suited to the game unless you had 99 acceleration you know so literally one point off it so for him to not as feel as a sort of snappy as for example i mean trying to think of someone who felt better uh i mean there are people i mean neymar and bappe those type of cards i mean maybe not so much Mbappe, but neymar definitely he's always the one i go to because he is the one that feels the most responsive he is the the most agile player i think i've used there definitely are other cards lozano's foot birthday for example feels really good as you can see there he was coming off the bench and never once started him and i will show you the team uh, that he came into in just a second you can see that just the top of it there i was kind of bringing him in for loudrup uh, if I'm honest, then I was maybe either taking Human Son back into the midfield or or Neymar. Uh, sorry, Mbappe, not Neymar. So I was playing a 4-2-3-1 for the most part. And of course, Fred and Fernandinho were holding the middle. Black back four the same as it as it is now. And then, of course, uh, Laudrup was coming off for the most part, at least. And... Um, and then Visca was either going as a cam, as a striker, as a winger. He played various positions. The one thing I'll say straight away is he will get into the most crazy positions in a good way. His running is very good, his off the ball is very good, his positioning is fantastic, and his finishing, for the most part, is solid. I wouldn't say it's amazing, there definitely are some instances where, like that one just gone then, you'd kind of hope that he would have put that in the back of the net, but unfortunately he doesn't do that, and maybe... If he had better natural finishing, because it's only 91, we're not improving it with a chem style either. If he had natural 
like, I don't know, 97, 99 finishing or something, we maybe have even more goals with him, which is saying something when you consider the fact that he's got 16 goals in 22 games off the bench. Gotta love that celebration, by the way. It's not really something I tend to do unless I'm in champs or unless... I say in champs, only if the guy has been sort of toxic by watching replays or just not skipping things, scoring goals and shushing me himself. Uh, but uh, but he just unlocked it, so that's why you're seeing it there. But his dribbling, his ball control, look at that. What a great goal that is. Just took about four or five players out with one little drag back. It's, it's responsive. And like I said, it's not like Neymar responsive, but he does feel very quick. He's really good on the ball. Off the bench, I... I, th I mean, I would struggle, I think, to find a better super sub. I know a lot of people tend to use Ryan Kent's uh, UEL live card. And, you know, I fine, I get it. That's a great little heel-to-heel -heel and a good goal there. Four-star, four-star, by the way. Very capable of scoring goals with his weak foot. Of course, the four-star skills is nice to have. Having used players like Quazon and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm, I think Sabitzer, Sabitzer have four-star? I can't quite remember. But using those players, uh, it's... It's a, it's a nice little sort of change. Of, why would you quit there? Like, eh. uh, So, yeah, it's a nice little change of pace to have someone who's actually got four-star skills. A lot of uh, loans going on in uh, in this. I don't know why, actually. What day was I playing? No, I don't really know why. It was like Sunday evening I was doing these games. So I'm not really sure why people were using their loans up on Sunday evening. Because obviously you'd think maybe Wednesday night to try and finish a certain ranking rivals or whatever but yeah so off the bench I'm, I'm trying to think of a player that is more effective apart from Kent who for me anyway actually isn't as effective as maybe like as Visca is I, I would much prefer to have Visca off the bench than I would Ryan Kent but that's just me personally you know if you if you use him and he, he wins you games he scores you goals and such then fine but imagine being able to bring on Kent and Visca that is a uh, that is a I mean a combination to terrify any defense and Bappe breaks through here maybe takes it too far plays it across Visca is there it wasn't actually meant for Visca lovely little side steps and step overs get in there not quite a great finish but uh, fortunately we get the rebound and my opponent decides that's enough and he is off and of course the final verdict now like I said He's a very good super sub, and hence the reason why under champs I've got super sub. I should really have insane super sub or the ideal super sub, because realistically you're not going to start this guy unless you've got... Unless they bring out a team of the season, Edin Dzeko, that just so happens to be 93 rated with, you know, 90 plus pace. And the same with uh, Pjanic as well. Maybe he would need one, so you could sort of corner him into that sort of right wing position. Uh, unless you're a massive Turkish League fan and you've got a lot of Turkish League cards, and then in which case you probably use Visco already, but under those really rare circumstances, you're probably not going to get to start him. Icons as well, I suppose you could uh, you could use, but yeah, Super Sub is is where I would I would uh, look to bring him on at, and, and honestly, so effective in terms of like negatives, links. If you use him as super sub, that's irrelevant. So strength is definitely one of them. He's five foot eight. Yeah, he's got 99 balance. It does help, but only 67 strength is definitely annoying. It's not really a problem. I'm not going to say it's an issue, but it's it is a little bit annoying, a little bit irritating. Now, again, going back to it, used to using players now like uh, Quazon and such love, uh, such of those type of cards where they've got really high strength or at least like 80 something strength. Nabri, for example, is um, relatively low center of gravity, but he's got really good strength. And this card obviously hasn't, so it's a little bit of a, not a, sh a culture shock or anything like that, but it's just like, well, I've had players who can throw their body weight around a little bit, and now unfortunately, Visca can't, so you need to stay away from people, try not to go shoulder to shoulder. His long shots without the chem style, not really that effective. To be fair, long shots for me are not really that effective anyway. I very rarely uh, play a game and then go to, to hit a long shot, unless it's a free kick or maybe a, a, a time finesse from the edge of the area not that i'm very good at them but i played a guy yesterday by the way in champs who literally hit every single time shot and he scored with i mean literally hit it green i played 70 minutes of that game because i left because he literally he was beating me 4-1 and every single time he shot from the edge of the area just inside wherever whatever angle it was how much time he had of the ball was irrelevant he hit every single shot in green let me know down below do you use time finesses or just time shots in general? And how often do you think you hit them in green? Out of 10, if you had 10 shots, 
how many times do you reckon you would hit it green if you tried to do it timed? Me, I'd probably manage two, three if I'm like really doing well. But that guy, honestly, he had about, I don't know, 12 shots the entire game. Every single one of them he hit in the green. Mad. But that being said, Visca is insane off the bench. Great value for money. And he, honestly, you, you'll be hard pressed to find a better super sub than this guy. If you have used him, let me know what you think of him in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.